time. <laughs> so, hi. Uh, so, I'm uh, Jonathan, uh, Jonathan Giroux. I'm a digital media artist and a software engineer. And uh, I'm here today to present you my uh, project uh, um, <laughs> Living Orb, which uh, in three words is a tangible game console. So you, you, <coughs> sorry, you'll be able to play it uh, through the presentation. Um, yeah, so, um, so the project, so uh, where does it come from? Oh, but by the way, this is a maze, so you have to find your way through the, through the exit. <laughs> Uh, so the, um, the origins of the project uh, is like um, uh, uh, I'm I'm into playful experience. Uh, that means games in a broader sense. Uh, I'm working at Ubisoft currently, and um, uh, I really want to try new things. And th there is a movement. Uh, so I mean, pretty recent for me, which is known as a alternative al sorry alternative controller, uh, which basically means. Um, going back to the tangible interfaces. So having custom made uh, controllers to, to control uh, maybe a, um, a unique game. But uh, I mean, the, 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 there is a lot of uh, really funny uh, controllers. Um, so I, uh, I wanted to, to go to, to, towards this direction uh, because uh, younger uh, in the school I, I met some, um, some electronics and uh, mecha and so on and then uh, I suddenly stopped. Uh, so I wanted to, to go back to, to, to doing stuff with uh, electronics. Uh, and as well, I'm also interested into the lights and colors uh, because I, I found that uh, very inspiring. Um, Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, so y your character is a yellow dot, and uh, it, it is supposed to stay on the top, but it's not very well calibrated. <laughs> um, yes, but, um, so I, I bought a LED strip, uh, but I, I, I didn't know what to do with and uh, suddenly I discovered this game which, by the way, is an uh, alternative controller thing, uh, which is Line Uber by, um, by uh, Robin Baumgarten. Uh, and it's, it's basically a one-dimensional uh, RPG, but uh, um, you only have um, like colors uh, to symbolize uh, characters, enemies, um, obstacles, and so on. So th there is also a, a vocabulary uh, of colors. But uh, yeah, I thought, oh, it's possible to make uh, games with uh, simple stuff as uh, a LED strip and uh, just colors. Uh, but um, but I wanted it to to be more um, more close to the to the people, uh, and that uh, I really like the the fact that you you're holding it uh, in the hands. And uh, so I, I had this idea, and. Uh, I made a first prototype, uh, which uh, which I have here, and as you see, it's a little bit more rough. Uh, I can show you it's yeah, uh, the <laughs> it, it's not as uh, beautiful as, as this one. Uh, but uh, at least I, I tested the, the concept, and uh, I also uh, dig into the process of uh, yeah, electronic and uh, mechanics. Um, so. So what I what I made, for, uh, of course, it's based on um, a polystyrene uh, sphere that you can buy uh, almost anywhere, you know, uh, in the art supply stores and uh, and so. Um, and then, uh, okay, I thought, okay, so I, I was very, it was very amateurish. Uh, I had a LED strip, but the dimension was not good, so I cut the LED strip and uh, sold wires and. Uh, um, I carve the the ball uh, on the outside to to put the lead strip and so on. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> as you see, so no, this one uh, all the electronics is inside, so you don't have any uh, outside stuff, and uh, it's much much more better. Um, so yeah, so uh, so at the end you have uh, something like that, and um, on the inside uh, everything was. Uh, Gaffer taped, uh, uh, yeah, like uh, the battery, which uh, is most of the weight of the, of the device is a USB battery, and uh, it was just uh, scotched uh, 
yeah, with with tapes and uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm even more surprised of that because uh, the cable, the the cord of the um, USB battery, uh, you, you know the uh, the angle. So I had to put a, a RAM, uh, RAM, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know, um, uh, but to not to um, um, yeah, uh, how to say? It? Well, well, you understood. Um, but yeah, it was very amateurish, but at least it works, so, um, <laughs> yeah. And a friend um, saw that and he told me, oh, uh, you're doing uh, shit, like, uh, <laughs> okay, let's do some, something better. So he went to, uh, to a process, um, so he's a little bit more into the uh, 3D printing, so he uh, made a 3D printed version uh, of the orb. Um, so uh, it's it's dangerous to to print it all at once. So you better do some blocks and then assemble them. So every triangle here uh, was printed separately and then assembled. And th so that means you have uh, an in inner structure to support uh, each different block. Uh, and this will also the um, this is also uh, the so this will be the case for the uh, also electronics as well. Um, so as you can see, so um, I'm sorry I, I haven't bought it because it's not finished yet. Um, but at least, um, yeah, I got into this ID. Uh, so I, uh, as you see, um, the LEDs also had um, had um, diffusers. Because this one do doesn't have diffusers, and uh, when you look uh, in the LED, uh, so when you look at the LED, it's uh, very intense and uh, maybe painful. So, yeah, so he added, uh, he added um, some diffusers. Uh, that was a very good idea, so I, I took the same idea to f for this one. Um, yep. So diffusers, and uh, yeah, so here's an, the inside structure. So. Um, yeah, maybe on the on the gray blocks, you, you see that there is a small edges, uh, small edges uh, inside the holes. So this is done to um, just uh, support the LEDs. Uh, just, uh, yeah, with a little bit of um, with a little offset uh, to the diffusers, um, and then you you would uh, screw them uh, to the inner structure. Um, so uh, yeah, so uh, I went back to the um, to the polystyrene ball, um, but taking the idea of uh, uh, of the diffusers and uh, um, also the inner structure, uh, as you see it. So, so that was a really long process as well because uh, you, you <laughs> so I had to to drill uh, the holes uh, for each hole. There is actually two holes, so two diff different uh, diameters. So it's yeah, it was very long. Uh, also soldering uh, every lead. Uh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> uh, also um, hours uh, wasted. Uh, no, not wasted hours. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so the um, so the inner structure. So it looks like that. So uh, I could open it, but um, I better not yet. Um, but yeah, you, so you see the connections, and uh, yeah, it's far more better than this one. It's it was actually. A little bit dangerous, but um, yeah. And so th that is um, LEDs as well. So um, well, uh, because I bought this um, uh, LED strip, I didn't know about uh, yeah w what kind of LED it was. But then I discovered uh, you can buy actually the LEDs without the pads uh, of the LED strip, and it's uh, far more um, efficient to to put them um, inside. Uh, yeah, and um, also to mention, so there is uh, um, an inner, yeah, th there is only this plate, this uh, round plate, uh, to support the, the computers, uh, um, sensors, and so on, uh, so that it doesn't move. But um, its its diameter is exactly the in inner diameter of the ball, so it's uh, really stuck into the ball and it doesn't move. And um, yeah, n no more gaffer tape. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I really want to thank, uh, by the way, uh, so Eddie, which um, 
uh, with uh, with whom uh, I, so I, I made uh, this uh, this short prototype as well uh, Henri, Fabien, uh, Jesse, and Pedro for <laughs> soldering and uh, gluing uh, the LEDs. Uh, Antoine and uh, both Antoine uh, to to help me uh, into the direction and uh, also the first on community uh, for the residency for um, the first uh, prototype. Um, so what is inside? So there is a Raspberry Pi. Um, Eddie wanted to make it Arduino. So okay, I don't know. Um, well, the, uh, as I will explain, the, there is a Wi-Fi uh, hotspot inside. So with Arduino, uh, it's a little bit more difficult. Uh, but why not? Sensors. So there is an accelerometer to catch up the up axis, then a digital compass to have the north axis, and then you do a cross product to have uh, actually your base. Uh, and then so I have a um, tr um, matrix uh, to pass from the, from the ball space to the world space. And, uh, yep. uh, so LED, so I use this one. So, um, and uh, that's uh, that's really that's really cool. I love this one um, because um, yeah, uh, all, all of them worked uh, directly out of the box. Uh, so even with soldering, uh, the, um, yeah, none uh, were bugged or so on. Uh, also, it's digital, so uh, you send the data um, in serial. So the tw uh, the twenty four. First bytes, uh, first bits. Sorry, that you send uh, is consumed by the first LED, and then it acts uh, as a relay for the second LED. So you can send your data uh, along the, the strip, um, and as well battery. Uh, of course, so there is wood as well, and the polystyrene. So uh, everything that uh, you use to, to construct the, the device. So the software from from a Raspberry Pi uh, version. So there is Linux with a, with a Wi-Fi hotspot. Um, I, um, I bought an uh, Orange P, which has a Wi-Fi uh, uh, interface uh, built in, but uh, I haven't tried it yet. Uh, but it should work. Um, there is a program in C++ uh, then to take the inputs um, from the sensors and uh, to generate the, uh, the data for, for the LED strips. And um, as well, I used uh, Lua to, um, to make the um, programming of the games uh, more um, easily av available. So the games are actually in Lua. Um, and as well, so there is a, a web server uh, to control uh, the, the op. So I'll actually show you right now. Uh, this is uh, the interface. So I'm connected uh, to, to the Wi-Fi hotspot of, of the orb. Uh, and so I'm sorry, but I will interrupt your PlayStation. <laughs> so j j just to, to show you how, to, uh, how it was made. So there is an update um, function that is uh, uh, called uh, every frame. Uh, and so you, you could say, OK, set color 1. Uh, one, so this is a topmost LED, and uh, the color is um, no. Let's let's say white. Yeah. So, yeah, that that would be the thing. And uh, as you can see, there is a uh, LED with uh, the white uh, thing. And this is uh, the index. Uh, this is the LED number one. Um, uh, so what you can do is. Um, <laughs> Uh, coordinate system. So uh, I, I won't go into detail to into Lua, but it's a really simple language, uh, and I really love that. Um, but just yeah. Uh, so I'm I'm trying to to put the, the LEDs uh, for the for make, for visualizing the base, um, like the ma uh, transformation matrix. So you see here that um, there is three colors. And which should represent the three axes of the of the base. So yeah, and that's how you know that it's not really well calibrated. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what what I can show you? Um, yeah. Um, I mean, so this. This was about my first game prototype. Uh, it was uh, basically just uh, the lead is trying to fall, so to say, and uh, you just have to rotate the ball to keep it uh, on the on the top. Um, yeah, and uh, I ca uh, the problem is uh, so I still have this program here, but because uh, because of the density. Um, 
uh, gravity I think this one so you, you can try this game actually yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you have much more uh, possibilities, uh, but, but because it was limited to the edges here. Um, by, by the way, it's an um, ecozidron, which means it's a, a volume with uh, 20 faces, and then it got uh, it's tessellated. Uh, <laughs> um, oh. Uh, as well. So here uh, I, uh, I made um, a Pac-Man version. Uh, uh, so you have to collect the uh, more more the, uh, more is the same effect. Um, you have to collect the pills, and uh, you have to avoid as well the ghosts. Um, and uh, as well, uh, you can use it uh, with no interaction at all. Uh, so I am uh, this uh, artist who I was willing to have the, the orb uh, on the on the scene uh, as he as he was playing. So okay, uh, so it acts just as a decoration device, but uh, it's nice as well. Um, yep. So uh, what, uh, what, uh, what I plan to do next uh, is, uh, yeah, of course, a, a little website just to, to, to make it more visible. Um, but uh, more importantly is a wiki, uh, because I, um, yeah, I, I didn't mention it, but uh, it's uh, fully open source. So both ha hardware and software uh, are supposed to be open source. So in the wiki, uh, we, I, I want to, to make all the knowledge database, uh, like uh, uh, the step-by-step -step instruction to, to make this version uh, uh, of the orb or everything like uh, how do you install the the, um, the Wi-Fi hotspot uh, inside the yeah, in the Raspberry Pi uh, so I, I want uh, I wanted to uh, actually that the project uh, turns around this uh, this wiki uh, as well I want to make a game repository like uh, like a, a store but uh, it would be uh, of course free so that uh, people can um, can share their games because uh, one uh, one of the main interests of, of the um, uh, of the project is that uh, we can try to discover new gameplays uh, because uh, yeah, it's a unique uh, interface um, and as well uh, the, there would be a simulator uh, so that if you don't have the device uh, you can still uh, test the games and uh, as well as you develop the game uh, uh, the games it uh, could be uh, simpler so uh, here's a basic version but uh, I mean you just have the the ball in, in a 3D space and uh, uh, because it's Lua so it can be compiled uh, to JavaScript uh, with uh, mscriptm um, so I could run uh, the, the Lua games inside the browser that's how uh, I would make the, the simulation part. Um, yep. um, so uh, to, to wrap things up, uh, sorry, to, to wrap things up, um, so you can build a device, and uh, I mean, you, you can do everything. Uh, I, I want to make um, a wood-based uh, um, because I, I like the, the, the yeah, contrast between uh, the colors and the wood. I, I think that uh, that could be uh, beautiful. Uh, but uh, yeah, any, anyway, any idea you can even make a cube out of it. Like uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> you could. Uh, this, of course, is a problem for the games because uh, as you have di d different uh, topologies, so how can you ensure that your games are still playable with one topology or another? So that's something to to, to think about. Uh, also, yeah, speakers because uh, the Raspberry Pi has a speaker uh, jack, uh, so we can do speakers. Uh, enfin, we can do audio things. Um, yeah, so program a game. Um, so of course, um, <laughs> right now the API, uh, API is uh, unstable because I, I don't really know what uh, what we what would be useful as a programmer to to access to. Uh, so as uh, as yeah, as I will and maybe you as well uh, do uh, more games, so we will be able to consolidate uh, the API. Uh, as well, all other stuff like um, uh, the accelerometer as a small interruption um, mode uh, for when you tap 
on the on the accelerometer. So you could as well make an input of that, like you are just tapping the ball to validate something. So yeah, the things to discover as well. And uh, if yeah, th this is my road uh, plan. Um, but if you are interested into the project, so. Uh, so, of course, the documentation, as I said, the, the wiki, so like, um, I really want it to, to be easy to, de to step in, like, uh, okay, here is how you make one, here is how you program it, like, uh, with uh, tutorials, step-by-step um, -step instructions, and so I, I really want to, to make uh, uh, a lot of effort uh, in the documentation. Uh, as well, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, yeah, kind of, uh, well, for, for my software, I generally use a MIT um, license, but uh, I, I'm not, um, uh, I mean, I, I don't know that much about uh, licenses and the free uh, open source uh, stuff. Um, so yeah, the, there will be something to, to do here as well. Um, yeah, so uh, if you're interested, so just uh, uh, leave me a message or uh, at the end of, of the talk, uh, just come by. Uh, yeah. Uh, and yeah, that's all. <laughs> so we have time for our questions. Yep. Uh, this here. Uh, for the C++ part, uh, did you use any framework or you did it from scratch? Uh, no, I, I haven't chosen any framework. Um, there the, the were already. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, for for the C plus plus part, uh, do, did I use the framework? So um, there there were a library uh, for controlling the the LED strip uh, in Raspberry, which which is called uh, RP underscore uh, WS uh, twenty eight uh, twelve, like uh, the name of the LED. Uh, and I made the, the drivers uh, for the sensor card uh, because it's connected uh, in uh, I two C. And uh, there were no driver. Uh, as well, I mean, I, I found no um, no way to communicate. Uh, no uh, library. I mean, so I, I made some libraries, but uh, there is no drivers. Uh, uh, sorry, there is no framework. I use uh, GLM for the math stuff, but uh, that's all. Uh, because of the way that the ball is rotating in all directions, do you have to have multiple compasses, or how does that work? Yeah, so, so uh, as I said earlier, um, I just need to have the accelerometer to have the up axis, and then I take the uh, digital compass to, to have the north axis, uh, and then I do a cross product, okay. and uh, you have the base. But um, um, w one thing, uh, when you program uh, the, d um, the game, uh, so uh, LEDs have uh, indexes, uh, but uh, you shouldn't uh, rely on them to, to make some uh, hardcore decision, like uh, uh, when you go to the LED uh, number 21, uh, it happens uh, something. Because um, as you, you could do the same device, but with another mapping for the LEDs. So for the mapping, I have also a Lua script. Uh, which defines the mapping, and um, what what's actually useful? Um, the each LED has uh, the list of its uh, neighbors, so that's why you can just jump over uh, the things and uh, yeah. But uh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, do you plan to increase the number of LEDs to get uh, <laughs> uh, final feedback? Uh, can you repeat the question? Yeah, um, do I, do I Wouldn't you end up in a, in a, in a spherical monitor when you do that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so the question is, uh, do I plan to, to increase the density of the LED, uh, LEDs? And uh, do I want to make a screen uh, out of that? Uh, yes, but not by hand. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm actually not uh, not against uh, finding a, a kind of um, yeah, mini production, like say, um, how to make that. So uh, I'd say uh, using um, injected uh, uh, molds uh, instead of uh, yeah, uh, curved uh, polystyrene uh, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, yeah, there, there is something to do with uh, yeah, uh, small productions. I think. So with, with some power in that, you can put that on your board. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, uh, the, yeah, the remark was uh, I could have a portable computer. Um, uh, 
<laughs> I, I mean, it, it was always meant to be a, a game, uh, a toy, actually. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yep. Another question? Yeah. Well, uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the question is, uh, what about multiplayer? Uh, I'm actually a fan of multiplayer games, so mostly local multiplayer games, and uh, I'm a little bit sad that uh, this device can be easily uh, give, um, so you can't give that easily to another player, or may maybe there will be games that uh, involve that, but uh, you, you can't throw it because uh, most of the people, uh, when they throw for the, for the first time, they say, oh, I want to throw the balls. Uh, uh, no, you c uh, it's fragile. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, um, uh, online multiplayer could be as well a solution. Uh, this, this would imply that uh, uh, many people have this device. <laughs> for, for no, it's not the case, but... Uh, We're going to have to stop there. I'm sorry, but you can ask him some questions afterwards. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>